Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Uh, it's my pleasure to be here. This is the second time. But, uh, this is the second of that summit. So I'm attending to you. As I count, I think I was waiting to see my results. I think I was the winner. Please confirm. <laughs> my name was Nija, so just confirm whether the Nija was number one. Um, <coughs> I'm telling you now as I prepare for the presentation, but just let me agree. Uh, I'm glad to see what is happening. And I think last year when we had this, we discussed the opportunities that exist in healthcare and tech. The conversion, the, the convergence of tech and healthcare presents such a wide space. And for any young person, either in tech or in healthcare, if you really have an entrepreneurial mind, you cannot lack the space in it. Dr. Uh, Media Africa, which popularly known as the Terry Line, we started in 2013. And over years now, uh, it was something we were trying out, started a small concept. And now we are amazed at the opportunities that are growing now. And as we speak, we serve those who have voluntarily registered, we have 22,000. But we have a database of 75,000 of healthcare workers across Africa that we reach out every month. And what we do is, I, I think the doctor, doctor, and actually we did a, a CMA with you, I was actually confirming from our platform and I saw you, one of the presenters, there's a series we did with them. And that's the beauty again of collaborations. Um, as you mentioned, there are many opportunities when you talk about digital technologies. Actually, we're just only Major than one, a small part of it, the training aspect, the capacity building. And everyone thought, why don't you do other things? And some of them have asked us, you, you want us to stick there. But the opportunities that are still open even in that small space, they are amazing. I recently we were in Kigali and we were meeting all the health, healthcare councils in Africa. And the discussion were all of them were talking about how can we have our healthcare equipped so that knowledge can be shared across that quality of care from Mashinani all the way to the to, to, to cities is somehow standardized. You know how much it costs for a referral? You know how much it costs for a referral? For someone who is in Samburu to be brought to, to, to Kenyatta. We were in one of the conferences, the emergency care conference uh, recently, and some of those county people were speaking about how even an ambulance, the management even of an ambulance, and and referral letters, and even when the patient arrives to Kenyatta, the struggle of getting a bed, you wonder all this. Some of these things can be solved if only healthcare providers in their places, wherever they are, they can access knowledge of what their counterparts are doing in Nairobi. And that's what we've been trying to do, just to try to disseminate as much information as possible. As I told you, uh, 